In this video presentation, I'll be talking about online tutoring using Google Hangout. First, I'll give you a short description about the project and then we'll discuss about the workflow and, and then we'll get into the demo of the project. The demo of the project will contain how to use the scheduling system and how to start a hangout between the tutor and the student. Google gives a very easy to use product to carry out video conferences called Hangouts. It is a free to use tool that can be integrated with any site effortlessly. In our project, we will be using this product where students and faculties can easily schedule and use Hangouts for online tutoring sessions. The advantages of using this tool are many such as accessibility, connections, content, low cost, it can be used for promotional use and it is also text chat friendly for speakers and attendees. The only downside to using Google Hangouts is that you need a Google account. But since creating an account in Google is free and very easy, it should not be that much of a disadvantage. The reason we are experimenting with Google Hangout is because a lot of educational institutes have students that attend the college in classrooms and online. Students that are physically present in the college grounds have a lot of resources available to them, but online students have very limited access to such resources. So in this project, we are trying to bridge this gap between the online students and offline students using Google productivity tools like Hangouts and Google Calendar. Let's first discuss about the technologies used. We tried to build this project using only free tools available in the web. The programming language used is PHP. The database used was MySQL. We used WAMP server to create a local host. We used Google Calendar for scheduling purposes. We used Google Hand Hangouts for video conferencing. And we used other tools like jQuery, Twitter, Bootstrap, etc. Before getting into the project, let us look at the database design first. We use only a few number of tables to make the scheduling system and the Hangout work. All the users are stored in the user table, which has both student and tutors. The student and tutors are assigned courses, and they have email ID assigned to them and roles assigned to them. The Hangout sessions are stored in upcoming session and pending request tables. The main goal of the project was to make it easy for both the student and the tutor to track the schedule and based on that schedule request online tutoring sessions. The workflow would go like this. First the student and the tutor would access the home page or the portal page. From that page they can log in and based on if it's a student or tutor, they will go to their respective pages. The student will access the course list and when the tutor logs in, they can access their own schedule. The student from their course list can select the course they are interested in and that will display the list of tutors that are available for that course. And by selecting the tutor, they can view the schedule of that tutor. And by selecting the schedule of the tutor, they can send a request for Hangout session. Whereas, on the other hand, the tutor can see their schedule and then go for pending requests. In the pending request, they see all the requests sent by the student. Here they can accept or decline online session requests. The accepted 
request will be saved in the Google Calendar, whereas the declined request will be removed. Then the accepted request will be saved in the Hangout page where they come as a list. From this list, they can start a Hangout. Now let us look at our application. The default page is the portal page. The portal will be the landing page for both student and the tutor. This page will contain a login button to log into online tutoring application. It also contains other information like courses offered, contacts, basic description about online tutoring, guides, and other stuff. The design constitutes of a generic navigation bar that has links to different parts of the website. It also has a carousel that can be used for announcements. And finally, it has a section at the bottom which shows feature of the web application. The student or tutor can log into the application by clicking the login button. There are currently two types of login. Student login. When a student logs in, the student will see the list of courses they are registered into for that semester. Whereas, when the tutor logs in, the tutor can view the schedule for the week. The login page is a very minimalistic design page. After a student logs in, we can see a list of courses that the student is registered to. They are the courses that students have registered for the semester. From this list, they can select any course they are interested in. When they select the course, they will be taken to the tutor list page. These are the tutors available for the student to select as a tutor. When the student select any tutor from the list, they get a section where they can view the schedule of the tutor. They can send a tutoring session from a slot that is open. The student receives a notification when they send a request for the tutoring session. This request can be viewed by the tutor. When a tutor logs in, the tutor can view their schedule and looking at the schedule the tutor can identify what sessions are coming up and what sessions have been done. The tutor can also view the list of all the pending requests by going to the pending requests page. This page has the list of all the requests that come from the students. They can be accepted or declined. Accepting the request sends the request to the Google Calendar, whereas declining removes the request. The tutor also has Hangout Space, which lists all the Hangout sessions that are coming up. The tutor can start a Hangout session simply by clicking Start a Hangout button. When the tutor clicks this button, a Hangout window will pop out from where an invite can be sent to the student's email ID to join the Hangout session. The email will be in the student's inbox of the provided email address. The student will be able to access the Hangout window by ac accepting the Hangout request from the email. This is the Hangout window that the tutor gets when they click Start a Hangout. They have the option to join here. And when they click the Join button, they can send an invite. The email ID of the student is already placed in the Invite box. 
And when they click the invite button, the student gets an email. 